The Las Vegas Raiders are the laughing stock of the NFL. They are abysmal. They are terrible. They are a joke. It's a dumpster fire over there in Las Vegas. Not just because of the fact that there are more opposing fans in our home games than there are Raiders fans. And I don't fault the Raiders fans for not buying tickets to the Las Vegas Raiders dumpster fire clown show that is going on right now in that building because I don't. I, I don't blame anybody for not buying tickets to go watch a game that is just going to end up in utter disaster and humiliation for our team. I blame this on Mark Davis. I blame this on the Raiders organization. I blame this on the coaching staff, the general manager, all the way down to the players. Um, here's the thing. Every single week, no matter who the quarterback is, the Raiders look unprepared. And that starts with the coaching staff. The coaching staff with the Las Vegas Raiders, it's the worst in the NFL, in my opinion. Luke Getze was fired from the Chicago Bears, and we all tried to give him the benefit of the doubt that he was going to be a good offensive coordinator. Um, he's not. Bo Hardegree would have been better to have kept uh, and, and even keep the same playbook as we had last year. Under Bo Hardegree, he did a better job, was more innovative with his play calling than Luke Getze will ever be in his entire lifetime. I think this is the last shot, the last chance for Luke Getze as an offensive call player in the NFL. I think uh, once he is fired from the Raiders, and I expect that that will probably happen before even the end of the season, uh, as our offense is abysmal, then um, he'll never have another offensive coordinator uh, job in the NFL again. I think the Antonio Pierce experiment is exactly that. It was an experiment and with experiments come failure and it's a failure. It is an absolute and utter failure. He looks like a spectator on the sideline. He doesn't look like he's in charge of absolutely anything. And this team looks unprepared. That is the head coach's main job is making sure that your team is prepared each and every single week coming into a game. And we just look flat out unprepared. Our defense first drive always gets racked up on. And our offense usually first drive always ends up in three and outs. Now the past two weeks, our first drive looked great and we scored points. But... After that, it turns into a crapshoot of whether or not we're even going to be able to get a first down. And again, this goes back to the offensive. It, not even just the offense. This goes back to the head coach as well as the def defensive coordinator and the offensive coordinator and all of the coaching staff underneath him. At this point, the game is over. The Raiders were humiliated by the Steelers. And of course, as the Raiders seemed to do, we made the opposing quarterback, who's not all that great, look great. I mean, he looked, Justin Fields looked like Lamar Jackson out there today against us. And yes, the refs certainly didn't help us by giving us some BS calls, which negated a touchdown and big plays. Yes, that, that definitely hurts us. At the same time, Amir Abdullah ran in for a touchdown. The ball barely crossed over the white line of the end zone, and that's all you need before his knee touched the ground. And what does Antonio Pierce do? They call a hurry-up offense and run another play with Amir Abdullah on the goal line, who then ends up losing the ball when T.J. Watt punches it out because he's not covering up the ball going into contact. And they turn over the ball. Now, there's two problems with this. Number one, the first play with Amir Abdullah, where he ran for an eight or nine yard touchdown, that should have been challenged by Antonio Pierce. It's a close play. You don't call a hurry up offense there. You let your staff upstairs review the play in real time and call back down to you and say, hey, coach, I think we got something here. Throw that red flag. 
He didn't even wait. Whether it was him or Luke Getze, somebody did not wait. And even the commentators were saying, this was a challengeable play because it certainly looked like Amir Abdullah crossed that line and it was a touchdown. No challenge. No challenge. We were still in the game at that point. That was a touchdown. When you look at the replay, it was an absolute touchdown. And Antonio Pierce doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't understand clock management. He doesn't know when to throw a challenge flag. We got hurry up offense when we should be waiting for a call down from the booth. And we got personnel problems. That's number two. What is Alexander Madison doing in the silver and black? Why did we bring him here from Minnesota? He is a great receiving back, but he is also a great goal line running back. He scored our first touchdown on the goal line of the game for a reason. But then you put Amir Abdullah back in there on fourth and one. Amir Abdullah, love him. Great receiving back, but that's not his role on this team. It never has been. He's a receiving back, not a goal line guy. He's not the bruiser. Alexander Madison is. Why is he not out there? Other stupid things like putting Dylan Lowby out there when we're deep back in our own side of the field. He's an untested, unproven rookie. Now, I wanted him to get out there and get some time, but not at that moment. You want to put in your unproven rookie when you have a lead. When you're up, when you've got the game in hand, that's when you start testing your rookies out. Not when the game's on the line. So turnovers kill us. Player personnel calls kill us. The play calling on offense kills us. And Antonio Pierce not knowing how to manage this team or a game has killed us. The Raiders are now 2-4, and four, bottom of the barrel in the NFL. At this point, statistically speaking, I think it's like a 3% chance that the Raiders even make the playoffs. Our season is over. Is that overreaction? No. Statistics are what statistics are. A team that starts out 2-4 and four have a very low percentage chance of making the playoffs. And that's where we're at, guys. Just being straight up and honest with you as I always am here on the Raider D podcast. So what do we do now? I want your guys' suggestions. Should the Raiders immediately fire Antonio Pierce and Luke Getze, put Marvin Lewis in charge for now, or go out and hire somebody off the street? Bill Belichick's available. I don't like that one. Definitely don't like that one. But would Bill Belichick be an upgrade over Antonio Pierce as far as understanding how to run a team? Absolutely would be. Absolutely he would be. But again, it's the Patriot way. And I'm sick of the Patriot way. But he definitely would be an upgrade right now. And I think our defense would be even better. So it's a possibility. If you guys want Bill Belichick, drop a comment down below. Somebody else out there. Drop some names, some suggestions. Or do you want to ride with Antonio Pierce for the rest of the season? As far as I'm concerned, if Mark Davis has any smarts in him whatsoever, you've got to fire Antonio Pierce now. I hate to say this because I love Antonio Pierce as a Raider, but he doesn't know what he's doing. He's out of his depth. It's a done deal. I think you got to fire him. I think you got to move on. Guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the like button on this video. I'll see you guys in my next video.